Hey everybody, what's up? In today's episode of Animate CC Beginner Pitfalls, I'm going to show you where these mystery tween symbols in your library came from, alright? And what I mean by mystery tweens are these symbols in the library that look like tween 1, tween 2, tween 8. You didn't name them, you don't know what they are, but somehow they got in your library. Well, I'm going to show you how they got there and how you can avoid it. The big lesson today is you never hit OK to this dialog box. Let me explain why. Alright, let me walk you through this very common scenario. You have something like a text field on stage, properties panel tells me it's static text, and you're really excited to animate it, so you'll jump over to frame number 20, you'll hit F6 to add a key frame, and then maybe you'll drag the text over to the right a little bit, and you're going to then right click and say create classic tween. And then all of a sudden you get this dialog box here, and it says the selected frame spans cannot be tweened. You must convert frame content to a symbol in order to tween. Well, that's something I've been telling you since day one. In order to create a classic tween, you must first have a symbol. Now, Animate's being very kind and saying, do you want to convert and create a tween? Hey, that sounds good. Let Animate do all the work for me. So I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to go to scrub through my timeline. I see I have a classic tween here. It's purple with an arrow. And I have the text moving across the stage. Hey, that was pretty cool. Until someone says, hey, you know what? That word free should be uppercase. Eh, no problem. I've learned that if I double click on a symbol, I can update that symbol's content, and then all instances of that symbol will change, all right? So here I'm in symbol edit mode for tween one. Hmm, that's a little alarming. Let's go back to scene one and look at my animation. All right, the word free is moving across the stage. So far, so good, until dun, 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 we hit frame 20 and all of a sudden we see lowercase free. Hmm, that's bizarre. During the animation it's uppercase and at the end it's lowercase. What happened? Well, let's jump over to our library and check out what we have. We have a tween one symbol and a tween two symbol. All right, when we told Animate it was okay to create the symbols, it created a symbol for the content in each key frame. So we pretty much have duplicates here. In the last keyframe, if I select this symbol here, the properties panel will tell me it's tween two, but all the way back in frame one, if I click on it, it is tween one, all right? So you don't wanna have all these mystery symbols showing up on you because when you go to make some edits, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Also, you don't want your library cluttered with a bunch of symbols that have really horrible names and you have no idea what they are. So my suggestion to you is whenever you see that dialog box, you hit cancel as quick as possible and you go back and you make your content into symbols, all right? I know the Adobe team created this feature to help you, but you're really better off doing things the right way. Create your symbols first, name them, and then tween them, and you're gonna have a lot of fun. Have an awesome day. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you like the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day.